sycamores grow and the wind is soft Twilight rests in the leaves My heart is locked in a box of gold and fastened with a silver key I find it here in the sweet woods Finally let it free Winding through and dancing Come back to me So like many other Yestermar courses, Less is More really helps students to understand the design process. It's an iterative design process. It's a process that you go through to understand how to design better in the future. It's a lot about problem solving. It's a lot about learning um, both the, the structural components and the, you know, learning how to, how to consider your framing system, but also thinking about the interior details. So this course is not about coming out with a finished design that you will then build, although I do believe a few of these designs we'll see built in the next couple of years. Um, but it's more about learning how to design well the system of designing a space that could be built. This design-build process isn't about having everything perfectly figured out, but about understanding how to problem solve in the creation of space. I think that people are choosing tiny homes for economic reasons, for sustainability reasons, for fitting their household better into their housing. And I think that's happening now because of a response to the economic recession, to the environmental troubles that we've seen. And a tiny home of one's own, whether it's mobile, whether it's an apartment, whether it's a cabin, is something that really appeals to us as a way to have a, a sense of doing something for ourselves that can help us to do well for others too. I'm interested in tiny house because I'm about to graduate college. I have building a house as one of my goals that I want to achieve in life. A tiny house is perfect for me because it's nice and compact. I really don't need too much space to, uh, to put my things. I don't have very many things in the first place. I love the mobility. I think they're really good looking and the footprint's a lot lower. So here's the side of the pit, I call it. Um, this is a nice elevation drawing. It's uh, got a split board kind of hanging up there. It's made for the back country. It's a 12 by eight and a half foot truck bed or, um, and uh, it gets towed by eight, six or eight cylinder truck. I'm um, hoping to bring it out west next year to go and move around in the backcountry a lot. Tiny houses kind of embody just freedom in so many different ways. It's, it's financial freedom, it's mobility, uh, it's creative freedom, and it kind of just combines all these different things in my life that I want to embody and make physical, make it real. I mean, personally, I, I pay attention to my impact on the earth. I pay attention to the, you know, the products I buy, the food I eat, where it comes from, the, you know, how much fuel I use. And I would totally love to integrate aspects of that into my tiny house. I'd, I'd love to do uh, an off-grid setup, specifically with solar. Um, I would love to use reclaimed or just uh, responsibly sourced materials for my tiny house. Things like that. Through my like sustainability studies at UVM, I realized that architecture isn't really my forte. I'm more interested in like this simpler, less is more concept of architecture. So I made, um, I did mine on a trailer so that it's mobile. Um, I made, it's pretty simple. It has your basic needs. Um, I'm really into like a cozy environment. I like Small is totally fine with me, um, but I like to just like make things have character, I guess. So I have a entryway, a little seat to sit in, to take your shoes off. The shower I'm really excited about because it's like a barrel, so it has that rustic feel to it. And um, it's like, mm, probably should be mostly used as a shower, but I managed to measure it out that I can like curl up into a little ball and squeeze into my little barrel when I want a little bath. And then I made a, a couch that I'm going to have to build myself because it's a, I don't have any images, but it's um, a couch that 
serves also as a storage, so it's made out of wood, and then I just pull up the hatch and the cushions, and underneath is just like a full storage unit, because in tiny houses, you need as much storage as you can get, and hidden storage is always the best way. Um, efficiency of uh, space use has always been something that I've uh, been interested in. Um, I don't know anybody else who does stuff like this, uh, which is why here. Um, but I did, uh, I do have a, a frame for a house being built this fall and that was sort of um, the, the incentive to stop thinking about it and start doing it. So, uh, so the, the frame is actually a crook frame. So the, uh, it's a, a crooked tree that's cut up the middle and opened up and, and it forms an arch. And that's the main structural element of the frame. Um, and then there's other framing members that uh, you know, make the walls vertical and things like that. Um, but it's a uh, it's a beautiful frame, and it's uh, it just conveys sort of stability and rootedness, and it's also sort of it also soars at the same time. So it's nice to have that element as well. So this is uh, shows the ladder that I came up with this week to get from the main floor into the loft on the second floor. This class, less is more, is about people having the opportunity to explore what's really important to them, to pay attention to how they move through a space and how they want to move through a space, to create a place that really feels like home. A place that's just enough, not too much more, but just enough to live well and be happy. Um, a small host can make you happy, but it can certainly help you be focused. And I think that that's the beauty of this class, that by focusing on small, by going on field trips, looking through books, swapping photos that we've seen on the internet, sketching out lots of ideas, exploring our programs, bubble diagramming, doing models, taping it out on the floor and laying down to see how much room you take up. People have a chance to really play with how they want to be in this world, um, what a little place of their own can help them to accomplish. Sycamores grow and the wind is soft, twilight rests in the leaves. My heart is locked in a box of gold and fastened with a silver key. I find it here in the sweet woods, finally let free, winding through it.